So welcome back to Geek Productive News. Today we're going to share a little bit more about the brand new Mac application for Outlook, Microsoft Outlook, giving you a bit more detail on what's included and when it will be available. So in readiness for Big Sur macOS 11, Apple's next big Mac update, touted for the middle to late October, the new Mac application has a few design and feature tweaks to help Outlook users. The main features include improved search suggestions, reply within window, so no pop-outs, and improved calendar and meeting access changes. So let's look into more detail. So the first of the changes is a customized toolbar. You can choose commands to display in the toolbar. So for example, you can select the more icon and then customize the toolbar for a greater customization of your experience. As I said, they've improved the search. Search is now powered by Microsoft Search, having better results and better suggestions. There is a new My Day view, allowing you to see upcoming events in Agenda or Day view in the main window for Mail. So you can select My Day and you can turn it off and on. So the next feature, there is an improved RSVP for meetings. So you can respond to meeting invites directly from the reading pane, which makes it easier to accept, put tentative, decline or propose a new time. You can also access more Office 365 groups, including calendars. So you can view all of your Office 365 groups in mail and calendar view. In mail, groups are located under the groups node for your account. In calendar, groups are located after calendar folders for your account. As I said, there's a nested compose in reading pane. So that helps you to stop having to open up a new compose window every time you want to reply, reply all or forward. This is just a small tweak. You can even ignore a conversation inside of the new Outlook. You can delete messages in a conversation, including messages already received in any new messages. And improved event scheduling. You can create events much better inside of the new Mac application, including changing the attendees, the location, and viewing the attendee availability, as well as a host more features. Now, apparently Microsoft included their Microsoft Sync technology that is currently used in their iOS Android applications for the version that we have here, Outlook for Mac. And apparently it means that Office 365 and Outlook and even Gmail users will be able to connect to Microsoft services faster. And they're aiming to add iCloud and IMAP support in the near future. So some features that are currently available in the Outlook for Mac, uh, for Office 365, that aren't yet available in this new Outlook experience are Block Sender, Delegates, Online Archive, and there are a few more, and we'll make sure to link them below. This is a nice new addition to the Microsoft lineup, and it's definitely a really attractive one, looking very sleek, including that fluent design that they talk about with some rounded edges, and it's definitely an improved design for those who are Mac users that just want a bit of a cleaner experience. So you can get this through the Insider Fast program, which I'll include below, but as you can imagine, they're rolling this out when Big Sur comes. So we're looking sort of, last year it was 19th of October, I believe. So it's definitely going to be in that sort of realm. So folks, I hope you enjoyed today's feature. Please do make sure you subscribe to Keep Productive News. And if you're here on the YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe as well. Thank you very much, folks, and have a great rest of the day.